Hi, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to get access to the Power BI application as well as loading the starting file, the Power BI business analytics project file that we're going to be using throughout uh, building our application. So, okay, so let's begin. We got two choices here we can do. You can actually load Power BI onto your desktop by going to www.microsoft.com forward slash e n dash us for says download you can go there and i'm going to go ahead and i'll go and click on search power bi desktop and then the microsoft application website will walk you through how to download the application onto your laptop okay that's one way of doing it. the other way of doing it is that your university might have access to um, you know, if you're using Office 365 from university or, or work environment, you can go to appapp.powerbi.com. And if you already have an account and you're already in, in the office.com, you're in your 365 Windows application environment uh, on the web, it's going to go right to the Power BI homepage for you. If not, it's going to have you create an account, just an email address, a couple quick questions, you'll create your account, and you're good there, okay? Now, all these videos are going to concentrate on using the Power BI web application or Power BI service, so we're going to be focusing on that. I'll also show a couple differences between the desktop and the, and the web app throughout our series of videos here, okay? So now that you have... Power BI installed. The next thing is you have to go and get the start file and the business requirements file. Okay, so those are located, and I and I provided the link in the video, <clears throat> the videos that is um, GitHub.com for slash J R Jerry R O U for slash Power BI Netflix project. Again, the link is in the the uh, description of the videos here, and there's two documents available to you. There's the business analytics. Um, project business requirements PDF file, which walks you through a bunch of the features of Power BI for this application, basically the business requirements, okay, uh, and links to videos and, and you name it. And then the second is obviously what we need the most is the start file. So all you really need to do is click on the file. For example, I clicked on the link and it has, there's a button here on the far right corner says download and that will download to where your browser defaults your download files to. So my browser, for example, defaults to download folder okay so go ahead and download both of those the again the start file and then the business requirements document you'll need both of those files okay now once you've downloaded those two files i'm going to go ahead as you can see it's in my download um directory i'm going to go ahead and click on the power bi project netflix start file i'm going to click on this and i'm going to change the the start file here, I'm going to change it to my name, initials, whatever. First thing I'm going to do, okay? Now, the second thing I'm going to do is if I want to use it on a desktop, it's really easy. I'll, and I've already installed Power BI on my on my laptop, desktop, whatever. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to double click on the app. It's going to open up for me. So once you double click on, double click on your app, it's going to open up here into... Um, Power BI, the desktop version, as you can see, my file name's here in the upper left corner. It opens up a blank page and, and some other features which we'll, we'll talk about in a later video, okay? So that's the desktop version. Again, that's if you want to use the desktop version of Power BI. Now, if you're going to use the Power BI service, the web app, okay, um, which is, again, the video is going to be usually primarily focusing on using and developing the application, the web app. Once again, you logged in to your account, all right? I'm going to go over to here to say workspace, my workspace here, and I have a bunch of files, okay? So this is my workspace. I'm going to click on upload, browse, and I'm going to go to downloads. Again, where my file downloaded, and I'm going to download, uh, upload the Power BI Project Netflix JR, because that's what I named it. And I'm going to open that up. It's going to take a second to upload. And once I upload, I can refresh my page. But you can see it's right here. Power BI, Project Netflix JR. I'm going to double click on it. And it's going to open up. Double click here. And again, it's going to open up to a um, 
page here, okay? So it's blank, there's nothing to view because I haven't done anything yet. So I'm gonna click on edit to begin the de design development of my project. Okay, that's it, that concludes this video, thank you.